going to explain you the structure of a bisexual flower. So in my hand it is China Rose. Its scientific name is Hypscus Rosa Sinensis. In Hindi it is known as Godhal. Hindi mein hum isko Godhal kehte hain. So I'm going to show you all different parts of this flower. From here you can see that here is a mark. This mark is indicating you that from here to this part. Yeah, here to here. This is the stalk of the flower. So for this we are we are using the term pedicel. So if it is the stalk is present, flower stalk is present, then flower is to be termed as pedicellate. Now I am going to pluck it from here. So now this is the stem. This is the stalk of flower. Now you can observe that these fine green outgrowth leafy structure are visible. These leafy structure, these this one. So as we have, uh, we know that that there are four whorls in the flower, but here one more is the extra, and this extra is there just above the calyx. That's why we are using the term epicalyx. So I'm going to remove this one. One, two, three, four, five. Then followed by six. So there are six epicalyx in this flower. Then you can see that this is the calyx part, and all these calyx are fused. All these sepals are fused. Calyx is the plural word, and sepal is the singular one. And you can see by edges we can count. That is one. From here I am going to remove little bit so that we can count properly. One. Followed by two, then three, then four, and five, and this one is the erupted one. I'm going to remove it from this side. So this is gamosepalous condition. Five sepals are there, and these five sepals are fused with each other, making a cup-like structure. So now the calyx is again completed. Right now. After the calyx, we have corolla. In a single word, we use it as petal. So you can observe that there are five petals. So again, going to remove this one. This is one, followed by again two, then three, then four, then. Five, is it okay? So five petals are there for making the third whorl in this flower, that is corolla. Now we have this part, and basically it is looking like a style, but it is not style. This is actually a structure which is responsible for attaching of all these anther lobes. See this one? This is the Anther lobe. This one is the anther lobe. This one is anther lobe. So anther lobes are so many, and attached with this tube-like structure. So I'm going to open this condition to show you that this condition is monoedelphus. Now the question arises: What is monoedelphus condition? The monoedelphus condition is when all the anther lobes are fused together to make a group. So all the anther lobes are actually fused. All stamens are fused. The correct one is that all stamens are fused from the filament to make a staminal tube around the style. So here you can observe the style is very thin, present inside the staminal tube, and looking so beautiful. So these are stamens fused together to make a staminal tube. Around the style, and now the anther lobe is free. Now, going to remove remove this tube part from the base of the ovary. So you can see that this is the ovary part from where the style is coming out. Now, this one. Now you can observe the staminal tube is removed. This is a fine filament-like style, and the base part. This part is to be termed as ovary. This is ovary. Right, uh, you can do at your home also. So by doing for doing this one, you can use needle or the tip of this compass. This is the style, and at the end, stigma is pentafid. Pentafid means one, then two, 
3, 4 and 5. So the stigma is divided into 5 parts. I am going to open like this one. You can count them like this. Stigma is divided into the 5 parts. So that's why we are using the term pentafit. All the parts, all the floral parts were attached at this place. Yeah, attached. So this is to be termed as thalamus, also known as receptacle. And now this solid part is to be termed as ovary. Inside the ovary there are ovules. I will show you the ovules also. And you can observe the ovules inside it. They are very fine. When you press this ovary, then these ovules will come into your hand. See this beautiful ovules are arranged in this. Now I am going to arrange all these floral parts on a paper. See this. So these are the epicalyx. One and of course two. This one and now all these floral parts of this bisexual flower are arranged on this paper. So epicalyx again you can count one to six calyx five in number you can count with the edges one two three four five and you can see the fuse condition of the calyx so it is gamosepalus the word is there in your book also gamosepalus s e p l o u s corolla the single one is to be termed as petal and the color is red you can count one two three four five next is androsium this is the male part this one is the male part of the flower right why we are using the term bisexual so this is the male reproductive part so in this androsium you can see this um, yellow colored little bit slight oranges yellow color is the anther lobe and the very small fine red color filament is here all these filaments fuse together to make a staminal tube. So I have labeled over here it as it is a staminal tube. Then gynosium, this is the female part, female reproductive part. So I am writing over here it is female. Now at the tip it is stigma, it is pentafit, five parts may divide it, then followed by style. So style is very thin and long and followed by the ovary, that ovary is there at the base and ovary was attached at the receptacle from here. This is the pedicel. So bye bye, have a nice day. Tell me pretty lies Put me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake